chapter one, Libra Ravens. This is your zodiac reading for the week. I'm going to do it a little different. We're going to do the top will be your career and finance combined, and then the bottom row will be your love situation for the week. All right, this is for the week. The Ravens for in Libra. All right. All right, just for you. <laughs> All right, so let me use the crow deck. I do not have a deck called the Ravens, although I should pick them up. This is going to be your career finance first, and I will use a love deck for the love portion. Okay. Or give true precise messages for the career and finance for the Libra's Raven. Okay? The Libra Raven for this week, Monday to Sunday. Monday to Sunday for the Libra Ravens. Career and finance, please. Career and finance spirit for the Libra's. These are really big cards. I have a hard time with them. Clear and finance for the Libra space. Clear and finance for the Libra spirit. Maybe a clear and finance for the Libra space. Clear and finance for the Libra space. Spirit, give true precise messages for the Libra Ravens regarding their love life for this week, Monday to Sunday. Monday to Sunday for the Libra Ravens. Thank you. Oops, okay. True and precise messages. Well, you're going to have a great love life, evidently, this week. Wow. A lot is going on. Holy. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Might need a private reading, Libras. <laughs> this usually only takes seven. I'm going to choose them from the ones up first. here and I'll add them for clarification maybe. They seem pertinent, but like I said, I usually take seven for this. Okay. In your career, 
finance. You got the five of swords. So something's happened in your career. You're holding on the two of swords for the two of you. But it's like someone has had to battle their way out of this situation. So your workplace may feel like uh, very uh, toxic or very like strife, I hear. Uh, like you have to fight for everything, battle uh, to succeed, fighting for things that you felt were yours. Regarding money and career. Coming up with the Ten of Pentacles, though. So you will be successful in the Pentacles. You also have passion here for what you're doing because the lotus flowers are here floating in the water. They're not sinking. They're not stale looking. You have a lot of flowers here blossoming. Lady <coughs> roses, maybe. Uh, a lot of greenery, so heart chakra. But... Um, There's something hidden behind this uh, situation because I can see something back here like it almost looks like a large snake back behind these windows. So something's going on. Some devil energy may be sly, sneaky. In order to get these Ten of Pentacles. One, two, three. And there's three birds here, four birds here. So the birds are balanced, but everybody wants a piece of the Pentacles. And they're being sneaky to get it. Sly, sneaky, snake like. Temperance is going to come in though and balance this out. She's going to take and give equal balance to everybody so everybody gets a piece of the pie. Everybody gets some nourishment from that love. You got some daffodils here and there's a crown over the crow for uh, the temperance. So she's listening to higher divine as to who gets what. Uh, career, remember this career in finance, although it seems like you're fighting at career, but you're going to get pentacles. So these pentacles don't seem to be coming from work. These pentacles are coming from something else. So maybe you have more than one job or an inheritance and family members are fighting over the money. Queen of Pentacles, she's standing. She thinks she's the queen. She's going to stand on her throne and wait for those pentacles to come to her because she thinks they're rightfully hers. Here you have flowers. Um, I think those are... Amaryllis, and you have like apple tree here, so um, things are blossoming around you, blossoming around you, being fruit, fruition, fruit, fruition, fruition. Uh, butterfly here for anybody with synchronicity to butterflies. Um, blot things again, blossoming, coming out of the cocoon um, and revealing themselves, revealing their true nature in this wand the true nature their true nature of their transformed self and there's this bunny rabbit running through so there's someone watching you someone nearby here you have the five of cups you've got love spilt you had choices you had more than one love, but there's been spilt milk. I don't know why it's saying milk. I usually say love. But you're in your emotions about it with all these water here. Okay? There is growth with all the trees around it. Um, but it's not green pastures on the other side. It's white like snow, so it's cold, icy. You're in your emotions. You've got spilt cups of love, but you still have these two over here that you could be paying attention to, but you're ignoring them. You don't think that's enough. You think you deserve everything. 
That's a harsh way to say that, but you deserve everything is because this looks icy cold like snow. I'm just sending the message. Don't hate the messenger. Okay, six of um, coins. Balance, give and take. Again, Trump, Trumpers came in and balanced everything out. So if there's three of you, you each get two because that's balanced. Everybody got their own fish. A lot of fish. All right, and the waters here look calmer now. There's smoother waters. Things. So you're moving into calmer waters from this battle. And again, those are this is the career and finance, okay? We will clarify them before we move on to the love. I'm going to clarify the career with the Aquarian Tarot. Okay. Spirit, let's clarify this five of swords. What's the battle at work? What is this battle at work? Their career, their finances. Clarify this Monday. Thank you. Uh, Ten of Pentacles. It's an ending to the Pentacles, an ending to the castle of happy family, walking away from the family life, walking away from the Pentacles to move forward to a new life. I'm not sure what that was for. And there is eight of rods listening to the divine communication coming in. It's coming from the higher, uh, you know, up here to down. So it's coming from the divine down to the person um, or people. All right. The communications from the divine um, explaining to them what needs to happen. The what path they need to take that there are hidden treasures hidden blossoms they just don't see yet so take the seven of swords and move forward um, the seven of swords taking one two three four five carrying five swords and leaving the other two behind taking just what they need and moving forward. Okay, clarify this ten of coins. Ten of coins, spirit, right? Is every and what's the snake in there behind those windows? Clarify this, please, spirit. Give us true precise messages for Tuesday regarding these ten of pentacles. Something to do with love. And you're the high paraffant, which is a court situation here. So the court system has come in and said move to your truth. Something to do with love because it's an ace of cups. Okay, so maybe a divorce situation. But the court case is coming out as the page of pentacles uh, moves forward. They are going to get one pentacle and they're going to move forward. Everybody gets one pentacle from temperance. Everybody gets one It's a piece of a pie. Maybe that's what it was. Okay. One piece. Everybody gets a piece of the pie. One. Mm -hmm. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Or the Page of Pentacles regarding this court case. And what was the snake about? Who's being sneaky, Spirit? Who's being sneaky? Three of Cups. Somebody, um, we had that love situation, right? Ace of Cups. There was something to do with an Ace of Cups, the court case. This is totally a divorce situation for some. Um, Page of Pentacles. Everybody's going to get a piece of the pie. Why? Because there was a three party situation. Three Cups. So Temperance is equaling things out again, right? Um, and the Knight of Swords is here to cut out. Bullshit. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, clarify temperance over here. Clarify temperance. Uh, clarify temperance, please. 
jury of Rob's decisions moving forward, having to make a choice, not making, not wanting to make a choice, but Temperance is here to make it for them. Not making a fair decision, so Temperance is here to make it for them. Thank you, Spirit. Three of Rob's, clarify three of Rob's. That makes sense for what I read down here of this because I was a little concerned here. Yeah. Three of Rods because the Four of Stability in reverse. Alright, let's move on to Queen of Pentacles, something a little happier. Who's the Queen of Pentacles? And this is Queen of Pentacles. Page of Cups. Page of Cups has one pentacle as a queen. Has passion for the Queen of Pentacles. A Page of Cups has passion for the Queen of Pentacles. Thank you. So she lost her hair, and she lost her king and her knight, and she's getting a page, hence why she's feeling like she had these other men. These are men in these cards, so that's why I'm saying this is a she. It could be a he as well. These could be she's. Okay? I'm just reading it as the cards look. So, she had these other men, three other men, hence the, the loss of the three cups of love. But she still has her cup and one other love. Two of swords, she's trying to make decisions. Which one she wanted. It's not always the guy that knows the three party situation. That's all I can say. <laughs> it, she's like, Six of Swords. Her decision regarding which guy to take, she's going to take and her swords and move forward. Two of her love, one of her loves. Her true love at a distance. Thank you, Spirit. Clarify the Six of Swords, please. Clarify the Six of Swords. Who's her true love at a distance? Who's the true love at a distance? Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords at a distance. Um, she is uh, the one communicating to her how to operate, how to how to choose, making it look all rosy. Making it sound, thank you. Making it sound all rosy, so she's being coached by this person at a distance. Okay, six of coins. This is pretty like a little bit of a drama or soap opera here. <laughs> Sorry, Libra. Six of coins. Six of coins. Clarify six of coins. I'm sure this is not for all the leaders that watch this. Um, thank you, Spirit. So we'll clarify that in a second. Um, so this uh, Six of Coins clarified by Six of Pentacles. Same thing, right? At least they're agreeing that it's going to be equal give and take. If there's three birds, each get two. If that's justice, that's just. You both put hard work into this. Um, relationship and in order to leave you need to put down the burdens but it was this relationship was a burden and it's time to put them down and move forward the two of you need to decide regarding the pentacles to put down the burdens and move forward and be thankful for the balance. Okay, okay clarify the I don't know what else to clarify. Spirit, this uh, reading isn't for every Libra that's watching this. Let's get some clarifications for the others. That this is that it's going to watch this, please. Okay. Give me some, oh, okay. I'm saying to change decks.
Okay. Uh, the Five of Swords. Clarify for those that this part, this situation doesn't apply to. Clarify Five of Swords. Okay, clarifying the Five of Swords for those that are not in a court case situation regarding pentacles, okay? Five of Swords. We're not going to clarify all of them, but it should help some. Four Swords. No more. So the King of Wands communication is upside down. Remember, this is battle. This is supposed to be career and finance. So the career. So someone in authority feels upside down, not in communication, doesn't feel... They're losing their throne. That's right here. This fight is, they feel like they're losing their throne, their position. It's, uh, in the past, it's been uh, keeping them up at night trying to balance things out with the four of wands, but it's uh, no longer balancing out. The world card, the world is here to tell you it's a new beginning. You're going to start over. Take that step forward. Take your six of pentacles. That the temperance is going to make sure you get take those six of pentacles it's going to be equal give and take and move forward so if this is a career maybe they buy out your position or they're going to say here we'll give you this much money to leave um, and Hierophant is in this case as a court case again it's the Hierophant coming in and saying this is the decision I made for this this is the law the courts okay ten of Pentacles, please. Still, in Libra. I'm glad I'm not a Libra, man. Although I do have the moon in Libra. <laughs> but I just left my job, so. <laughs> ten of Pentacles. That's right, Ten of Pentacles. For those that this first reading didn't resonate with. Star card, Aquarius, no, the High Priestess. Yeah, okay, Ten of Pentacles, you're going to be the High Priestess and move forward. Listen to your higher self, listen to your intuition, and move forward. Don't stay blocked. Let temperance balance things out for you. Have faith, surrender to the Divine. Clarify the Temperance card, please. Clarify the Temperance card. Oops. Somebody was naughty. Not feeling they lost their position or, um, due to some double energy, um, which is why uh, the court case, maybe it was a lawsuit uh, regarding some sexual harassment. I don't know why I'm hearing that. But um, something to do with double energy that there's been a court case over at work. Okay? Clarify these. Next row down. This group. One card each. Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, and Nine of Pentacles. So you're coming out with Nine of Pentacles. You think uh, you are coming basking out in beauty. We're focusing on something else, a new position, a new job. You're transcending from the, into the butterfly because you had to leave the situation. You left whatever was the devil energy. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, uh, building your pentacles, but yet in your passion, in your love. Queen of Wands, standing your grounds, standing and speaking your truth regarding the situation. Okay, clarify the Queen of Pentacles down here. Queen of Swords. Clarify the Queen of Swords here. Uh, yeah, the Emperor. Someone in charge, the boss, manager. Someone took them to court. They were um, this Queen of Swords holding herself tied up. Felt like she had no choice. 
um, regarding her pentacles. She was just trying to work. She was trying to make a decision. Judgment came in and took care of it with this court case. With temperance here to balance it out. Ace of Pentacles, this spot here, clear it out. There was heartbreak. There was heartbreak. Um, but they wanted to move forward in celebration. They were hoping to win the court case. The hermit, they followed the light. They went into the hermit mode. They wanted equal give and take. And they were hoping for to be blessed with abundance. Perhaps someone that double energy was alive. And there's depth to that abundance and uh, equal abundance, rather. And there was a depth to the judgment. The depth to the case for the other person. So there's just two different scenarios there. Okay. Clarify the love story here in a second. So your love life, uh, Libra, is the page, starts off with the page of wands on Monday, um, holding firm to the uh, belief and the stance that they took, feeling empowered with the red cape. Their heart chakra is open. They're in the science of their journey, listening to their higher self, listening to their divine counterpart, perhaps through telepathic message, or perhaps this is listening to the gossip because there's three birds up here going chip, 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 right? So if this person is listening to the gossip, um, it's not going to be good, right? Listen to your higher self instead. This person feels tied, bound between two women, two, uh, since it's a guy in the picture, gender doesn't matter again. Switch it as you need to. But in this picture, this guy feels bound between two other people. But he's focused on this third person. So what do we have? We have, what, four people there then. So it's a four-party situation. He's focused on the little blue bird, though. That's the one that sings the song he wants to hear. That's the one over here that he was listening to. Okay? Which is the empress. So that little blue bird is the empress. Um can show some stubborn as a bull um, energy, but standing strong like a bull. Thank you, Spirit. Standing strong in her power like a bull, but holding to her heart uh, connection to him. Following divine spiritual guidance with the stars. This is the atomic uh, symbol for the journey she's on. She has the key to his heart, and she's just waiting to be able to use that key. These pillars in the back are not crumbling. They are upright, which is good. And the sun is coming up over the mountains for a new day. For her king of wands to come forward, he's also got the wand, uh, his wand or his staff that he would walk with, guide him, right? His belief, his uh, belief, old belief system is uprooted and he is in his new beliefs. He's in his power sitting with uh, a lot of red behind him. And his little boo, blue bird, boo boo bird, <laughs> his little blue bird is here, but he also has a side one over here. Okay, so uh, yeah, one, two, three. And I see one, two. So perhaps when well, he started out with three side people to two side pieces and one to focus on all right one two three other people and here he has two other people so he's gotten rid of one in the meantime uh, so he wants to move forward to you on his hawk if you see the hawk it means you need to t move forward rapidly in your truth why because his mask is down he's not in his truth he can come forward with his belief he can hold strong to that staff. He can come forward on that hawk. I'm going to say eagle. Um, but it, if it was an eagle, he'd be in his truth, right? Because it's such a, you know, the eagle is more of truth and divine. Like a patriotic type belief. But he's not in his truth. But he's going to come forward on his hawk. 
He's going to make that offer about his belief system. He wants to be loyal, but even the dog, the, the loyal dog, is kind of just digging in the dirt, not paying attention. So is he really paying attention to being loyal? He's got a feather in his cap, so maybe that's how he felt about having so many women. It was just one more feather in his cap. He's uprooted his belief system. He is trying to grow and have a new outlook regarding these feathers in his cap um, so that he can move forward in his heart chakra of passion and love. This person is not in the high priestess mo uh, mode. While it should be because the uh, energy level, the vibration is there. They know without darkness there is no light. They know they need to go within and heal their inner child and do the studying, but it was in reverse. Therefore, they're not studying, they're not healing, and they're not paying attention to the dark and the light. Okay? How's this? What happens then because of that? Well, you end up stabbed in the back because there's so many other parties, those other feathers in their caps, the other birds around. So somebody was left feeling stabbed in the back regarding that situation. It, um, they were supposed to be nurturing the twin inner child, growing their gold, spinning their gold so that they could have a new beginning, a new day. And this is their hopes and dreams. But they weren't focused on their counterpart. I'll flip these over. These are all three of these are in reverse. I'm going to flip them over so I could read them. All right, so they were trying to build a steady, found, a, a strong foundation with these pentacles, um, their money, and they were trying to focus on the higher self, the higher, um, their intuition, their higher self, thank you, Spirit, um, in their belief system so that they could have growth. But they were not successful at that because they were, instead of focusing on that, and building those coins, they're worried about the two wands, a bird, two birds over here, right? The feather and the cat. Now they have one bird, so they're dwindling them down, so that's good. So they're putting down the burdens that no longer serve them. Yeah, those other wands, right? Going to move forward with the wand that is going to give them truth, the alchemical symbol for their journey. And they're going to take their sidekick with them. And that, um, no, my bad. Seven of the swords, that's supposed to be seven of the wands. This is what they're supposed to be doing, but they haven't yet. Thank you, Spirit. Because it was in reverse and I read it upright. So this is the putting down burns, what they're supposed to be doing, focusing on one and holding on to that belief so they can move forward is what they're supposed to be doing. It's in reverse, so they're not doing that as of yet. And again, with the wheel, the wheel can't turn forward if it's upside down. So I'm going to flip it back over so I can read it correctly. Right, there's some little devil energy here with the snake um, hanging out. He's blindly um, holding on. But upside down, he's not on the top. He's spinning it from the bottom, just spinning it away around. Um, and not being focused on the blessings and abundance around him. Him or her. Since up here, that one case was of her, we were saying. So this could be a woman with multiple or a guy. So take it as it resonates to your situation, okay? Um, that was heavy. I'm um, just saying, uh, Aquarius had a great uh, reading. <laughs> Maybe you should be an Aquarius t this week. <laughs> oh, this sucks because I do have Libra in my moon. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. So first up is the magician trying to manifest this. Okay, so remember we were saying either listening to gossip or, and now we find out, no, well, there's three birds there because we had the three here, right? So these are three different women that he was listening to. Somebody was manifesting this. Um, 
trying to get the tools they needed to make a change. Hang on one second. Queen of Cups. So he's looking at this bird, even though he feels tied to these other things, right? These other decisions that uh, people, the things that were holding him down. Now, one of these might be a job that he doesn't like, and one could be the uh, other person, spouse. Um, but he's focused on this pretty little bluebird, um, who he feels is the Queen of Cups, okay? Which is Cups is love, passion. On the bottom we have the Six of Wands moving forward, okay? So let's clarify this Empress, his beautiful Empress, who is also the Queen of Cups, hopefully. Clarify the Empress here. Clarify the Empress. Six of Pentacles equal give and take balance. Because that's what the Empress is. Empresses birth things, they uh, build things, they um, give blessing and with equal give and take. Um, Page of Swords here, not um, not really communicated. To here it should be Page of Swords meaning coming in with communication. But it's like she's looking down not paying attention to the fact that she's carrying the sword. So perhaps in this situation there is no communication. Or not effective communication. Clarify this King of Wands, please. Clarify the King of Wands. Clarify the King of Wands, please. Clarify the King of Wands. Okay, the King of Wands is looking forward to that Four of Wands. Stability. And he wants to take that chair. Chariot move forward out of the dark, out of the light, out of the shadows, and into the. I misspoke. He wants to move out of the shadows and into the light. Thank you, Spirit. So, what's the Knight of Wands coming in on the Hawk? Clarify this Hawk. Clarify the Hawk of Truth. The Hawk of Truth. He wants to come in on his talk of truth, but his mask is down. Ten of swords, no longer wanting any um, to be stab stabbing others in the back with their faults. Stories. The fool willing to take that leap forward in faith. Which is why he's coming forward with that pentacle. 
clarify this high priestess in reverse, please, Spirit. Clarify the high priestess in reverse for the Libras. Okay, a lot to say about the high priestess. Two of Wands, a decision to be made um, about people being left, no longer being left out in the cold, want to come in out of the cold. It was reversed. The world wants to turn, but it's in reverse, so it can't move forward. Why? Because there is that stabbing in the back. Multiple people. These karmics have left him, like he's been stabbed in the back, and the karmics want to tear him apart. Alright, what he wants, though, with that hawk of moving forward of the hawk of truth he wants that happy end of answer but but these things can't move forward right now why spirit uh why is the sun card here let's put that first why is the sun card here with the seven in the back and the reversal why is the sun card here spirit why is the sun card here clarify the sun card for you bro, please I thought of some part for Libra. Page of Wands. Moving forward. So the sun is here to move forward to a pentacle. She made a choice. And she chose her pentacles. She's moving forward with the pentacles and away from him. Which is why that first one, remember, she wanted all the ten uh, things because... Yeah, she's been stabbed in the back regarding the three-party situations or four-party situations and wants to move forward. And so she's decided to leave him behind and take the pentacles. As a queen of swords, she's ready to speak that truth and cut away. Okay. Nine of pentacles. Clarify nine of pentacles, please. Clarify nine of pentacles. So nine of pentacles. Remember, it's in reverse. Oh, I'm so sick of this three-party situation thing. Okay, nine of pentacles. Normally, it's building a stable from the wall, building a stable foundation on pentacles, listening to the higher self. But she's not because it's covered. The mask has got a mask over his head, so she's not paying attention to her higher self. Plus, it's reversed. Okay, she can't. She can't even focus. In the, it's a girl in the picture. Why? Because she's, it's the three of cups situation. She still can't get her head off of it. All right. Moon cards. Coming out of the shadows. She's trying to walk away from the shadows, the high storms, those waves. Listening to the higher self. Listening to the divine and wants to avoid these towers. And she's trying to be strong and have strength. Okay. Seven of Wands, please. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands, please. Clarify Seven of Wands in reverse. Clarify Seven of Wands in reverse. Queen of Pentacles. Remember, she left. She took that pentacle and moved forward. Now she's the Queen of Pentacles. She's sitting there with her pentacle, but she's all alone and she looks sad. She's got a little chair beside her. Flowers, some daffodils. But the storm, the clouds look stormy because she's alone. She, Pentacles are not going to fulfill your love, your life, your heart, right? You need to fill your heart with your self-love, unconditional love for self, and then be able to love others. And you're not going to fulfill yourself with a pentacle. You're not, yeah, here she, this is what she's dreaming of, the, the ten of pentacles, having the man, the ten of pentacles, but here she still has a third party. You can have those pentacles, but... That's a materialistic mindset. So the third party is still there. On the bottom is the Ace of Wands. She's sitting by the rocks in the storm as the waves hit the ground and the lightning is striking. There's no Ace of Wands when you're worried about your pentacles. Just saying. You can't focus. It can't be the main focus. It can't be what you love. You can't have passion for a pentacle. Six of Cups. Okay. 
Uh, you can take these um, cups, six of cups, it's equal, it's balanced, but it's only filled with plants. Um, it's not filled with emotions, it's not filled with heartfelt love. They're just flowers that they cut. Okay, let's clarify kind of uh, the <laughs> Wheel of Fortune in reverse. <laughs> okay, Wheel wants to turn, it can't. The world wants to turn, it can't. Because nobody's making decisions, nobody's moving forward out of this, and they're concentrating on pentacles, as we saw in, in the finance and career section, right? So, of course, your love life, your career, your finance, everything in your life is out of balance. You need to balance yourself with emotions, find something, go in nature, meditate. And yeah, the tower is here. Tower's here because these things aren't moving. So, the spirit's going to come in and give you that tower. Regarding that two flame, that passion that you should have for someone, um, sending you into the hermit mode so you can study, you can follow the light and learn what it is you need to learn from the divine. See, the um, the light is really glowing, but there's like two different books in this. And that's what the hermit does when he goes within. He doesn't just go within and sulk. He's going within to study, to listen, and to hear spirit guide him. Regarding that tower moment, what's the tower moment here for? We kind of know, but what's the outcome of the tower? How's that? That'll be better. What's the outcome of the tower? What's the outcome of the tower? Yes. Two of cups. See? Tower will work every time because humans can't decide. Humans choose wrong ways, but the divine will choose what's for your highest good. Overall energy for this. Eight of Swords. Feeling confused. Probably because she got love instead of money. Five of Cups feeling left and out in the cold, but she has those two of Cups. How precise is that? You can't make this up. You got the Two of Cups card and Five of Cups, three are spilt, but she still has those two because they're confirmed right here with her Emperor. How awesome. Right? He's in the power and she is the Queen of Wands looking beautiful and radiant in her blue or yellow. I don't know why I said blue. Blue, blue emotions. Oh, emotions. The blue is emotions. Okay. Blossoming. Let's get some of uh, I think that deserves some angel cards because you all need some advice. <laughs> if anybody wants a personal reading, you can request one through sacred spiritual healer at gmail.com. I'll get you a personal reading regarding this to see if this resonates with you or if you want something different. Uh, different guidance perhaps. Inner child healing. Help you get to get past some of this the week, the month, right? Spirit. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Queen Esther, the morning star, my ego is in service of my soul, and I trust my soul's divine timing. The Red Lady, oh beautiful, I love this. I am pure strength. I honor my anger by giving voice to it. Yeah, but be able to transform your anger, transmute the anger into love and light. And give it power that way, not in the way that you would think. Cosmic Egg, the Divine Feminine, I hold the universe within me. I am the force of an ever-expanding love. Yes, you are, Libra. You have it within you. I am the bridge between heaven and earth. I am full human and fully div divine. And she's holding that golden egg as well. So, nurture that inner egg. <laughs> All right. I hope you have a blessed day. Namaste.